What's up everyone? Happy Friday and welcome back to Esports Talk. And we just recently saw Sneaky leaving Cloud9 and he hosted a stream talking about his decision to not make his way back onto the team. And in that same stream, he said that it might not be the end of his professional league career, but he's probably just going to focus on streaming. But an Instagram post by Kobe recently came out, which makes it look like Sneaky's not quite taking his break yet because he's apparently joining 100 Thieves. He posted this image that says Sneaky and Meteos are getting reunited on 100 Thieves, Exmithy is going back to Immortals, and he mentions TSM picking up Dardoch. I haven't seen anyone else mention Sneaky joining 100 Thieves at the time of me writing and recording this, so this is the only thing that I have that says it, but he did say he's probably going to be taking a break from his professional league career, so I'm going to be guessing that he's going to be joining 100 Thieves as a content creator and a streamer for them. And with Bang just leaving 100 Thieves to go to EG, that does open up the 80 carry spot for the 100 Thieves, uh, but it, it looks more so like he's going to be sticking as a streamer if, if he does stick to what he says. Though I guess I wouldn't be too surprised if he actually did find his way onto that 100 Thieves roster because it does say Meteos and Sneaky were reunited. Licorice was also hosting a stream earlier today where he discussed Sneaky leaving C9 and he had a few things to say about him and the team. Here's some clips. But like he has options. He hadn't decided what he wanted to do at the time. So it was like Cloud9 didn't want to do a response. I think that in hindsight, the best thing that Cloud9 absolutely should have done would have been to like when they tweeted out that like Vulcan was joining the team or Zven was joining the team to be like yeah like Sneaky hasn't decided what he wants to do yet just so like to be more transparent about it so I think that was definitely a thing that could have been done better um and then also a lot of people are talking about like why the players haven't said anything either and uh at least from my perspective most players have just, like, they always just wait for their org to tweet something out, and then they do, like, the quote retweet or they do the reply. So, like, for me, and I'm pretty sure for my teammates, like, we were just waiting for, like, that tweet to go out so that we could reply to it, because that's how we did it for everyone else. Um, because it's not really for us to announce. How's my relationship with Sneaky? It's not good right now. Um, I think that I should have like reached out to him when everything was happening and i didn't and now it's just like super awkward for either of us to reach out like that's mainly on me for like not talking to him and i think it would have been really hard but i think i should have done it anyways so he says Sneaky hadn't made up his mind yet about the move, and because of that, Cloud9 didn't make a formal announcement like orgs usually do when players are joining or leaving teams. And this, of course, caused a lot of commotion in the Cloud9 fan base because people were left confused and kind of without some communication, and as a result of that, Licorice and Sneaky's relationship are not so good anymore, which is kind of disappointing to see because Sneaky's been on Cloud9 for so long that it's kind of weird to see him with anyone else. And with, with his relationship with Licorice being not so good anymore, it's looking less and less likely that he will be returning to Cloud9. But maybe we will see Sneaky making a return to pro play under 100 Thieves, because it looks to me like they're trying to build a roster of a bunch of NA's favorites. You've got Meteos, you've got Aphromu, potentially Sneaky, and I feel like if Sneaky makes his way back onto 100 Thieves and actually competes in pro play again, 100 Thieves might be on its way to becoming America's next favorite league team. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'm going to head out for the weekend, so take it easy. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, but I'll be seeing you next time, so bye-bye. So, uh, <laughs>